Hey guys, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial. Now this is a very, very simple one today. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me um, before, how do you make keyframes in After Effects? So I'm going to show you very, very, very simple, simply how to do it. So I've got this one shape layer that I've made right here. Um, if we hit P or R or S, and I'm hit, holding Shift when I do them together. Um, so P for position, R for rotation, S for scale, or if you want to do them together, hold Shift while you hit P, R and S. Um, you've got this little stopwatch next to it, basically. The way you would do keyframes is, obviously everything's going to start off in an initial position, and we want to hit the stopwatch. Anything that's got a stopwatch next to it, you can keyframe. So if I hit this stopwatch, you'll see we've got this little blue diamond has appeared by there, and that's at zero seconds. So if we come forward in the timeline to two seconds, and then we don't need to hit this key, this stopwatch again. You only hit it when you only hit it once, okay? Um, if I now click and drag this, because I'm changing the position, you can now see that I've moved forward two seconds in the timeline. You can now see it's moved, made another keyframe. So what this is what, what this is doing is the computer's thinking, right, when we're at zero seconds, I need to be in this position. And by the time we get here, because I clicked and dragged across two seconds, and then I moved it, by the time it gets to here, it's like, right, I need to be in this position. So in between, I'm just going to tween in, in between in between um, I'm just gonna move in between these two okay now another way of doing it um, we'll do the scale as well so we'll come back to the beginning we'll hit the stopwatch once for scale let's come to two seconds in time another way of doing it um, instead of clicking and dragging these to scale it up um, is to actually click and drag these values so like so so let's make it smaller okay um, so then between these, it's going to go from 100% scale down to, what have we got it on, 39% scale. And the same for rotation. Now, actually, you won't be able to see it on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a rectangle. And I'll do the position of this rectangle, okay? Um, so, no, the rotation, sorry, so I'll come to R. I'll come back to the beginning. I'll hit the stopwatch. I'll come to two seconds. And then I'll click and drag. Wrong one. Ah, I've been doing it to the wrong one. Great. I've been doing it to the circle. Um, so I'll come back to the beginning. It's this one it is. Let's hit R. Let's go let's give a keyframe at the beginning for zero rotation. Let's come to two seconds and let's click and drag. Now this value by here, you see we've got two. This first this ver first zero is the number of revolutions. So if I take this to one. It looks like nothing's happened, but if I go between, actually it does one whole revolution, okay? So you see it goes all the way up to 360, and then back to zero, but then this goes to one. So if we wanted to, let's delete this keyframe. If we wanted to only do a half spin, we'll use this figure and take it to 180, which will be a half spin. So you can see just by clicking and dragging the value, that's that's what happens. Let's, let's make this... Um, Let's hit T to make this transparent, and I'm not going to keyframe this one, just so you can see the circle behind it. And it's very, very rough, very, very basic, um, but that's basically how you set keyframes. Now, one last thing to note. I've got this solid layer by here. I went layer new solid, and then I put a fractal noise on there, and you can see all of these things have got keyframes. So if I turn this layer on, we've got this. So I can animate, for example, um, the evolution, the evolution, is just how um, kind of the animation of it. So if I were to play without anything, it's just going to be just this basic cloud layer. But if I come back to zero, hit the stopwatch, go to two seconds, and change this value up to something like that. And now if I hit U on the keyboard to see these keyframes, you'll see there's evolution keyframes from this effect. So if we come back to the beginning, you'll see that there's animation going on there only until that keyframe ends. Um, so basically anything with a stopwatch you can keyframe and all you need to remember is you only need to hit the stopwatch once. Let's do contrast and then we come forward and then let's change the value like that. So if we hit U again you'll see we've got these keyframes. So we've got it playing through just randomly and then it stops because there's no more evolution but then it gets more and more contrasty until this point and then it stops because there's no more keyframes. Okay, so that was a very, very basic um, talk through of how you set keyframes in After Effects. 
what a lot of people do is they click the stopwatch twice thinking that's how you set one well that's how you start but you don't do any more see look at the evolution now if i click this it deletes them if i go to the contrast and click this stopwatch it deletes them and we've got no keyframes on here whatsoever now there's no animation going on um, so cheers for tuning in i hope that answered some questions for people um feel free to check out the rest of our tutorials give us a comment like and a subscribe um and then check out our social media on our facebook twitter and instagram cheers for tuning in and i'll see you again